Well, if the recent recession taught us anything, it's that Americans are not saving enough. Retired people went back to work and student loan debt has reached a record high. But now efforts are underway to teach our children the dangers of overspending and undersaving. Sheila Gray takes us to school for tonight's family 411. These elementary school students are learning how to become good business people and smart shoppers. I'm trying to look for a really creative idea and a low price. This Market Madness event for third and fourth graders is an end of year lesson in financial literacy. When you look at the economy the way it is today, we need to start early. Donna Quattromani students are learning money basics through the Council on Economic Education STEP program. Things like supply and demand, spending and saving. Now it's vital because of the economy. You have to be a saver. You have to be ready for that rainy day. Instead, a lot of us are taking too much out of the ATM. Two-thirds of Americans acknowledge they aren't saving enough. And a recent survey by Country Financial found one in four Americans aren't saving at all. I think today we, parents maybe overdo a little things and it's good for them to understand that it's not an endless pit of money everywhere. Tim Schweibert's son Grant is only in third grade, but he's got one of the most important lessons down. Uh, to make sure you don't spend too much, but spend what you need to spend. To get the money, you have to earn it, and you have to work really hard to get it. Uh, a lot of Americans do not spend less than they earn. Dr. Julie Heath is part of an effort to get more states to require greater financial literacy training for graduation. It's just a matter of, of them taking responsibility for the decisions that they're making, and that translates and carries over into all aspects of their life. Start saving as soon as they know what money is. If they get four dollars for allowance, put a dollar in their savings account. Money educators say these hands-on money messages compound just like interest, and experiential learning is more likely to last. Sheila Gray, Fox 45 News. Financial literacy is so important. To find resources for teaching your children about money, just go to our website, fox45now.com, and click on these links.